Okay, Charlie, I told you I'd get a video. Uh, this is where it sits right now. She's in my hangar. We got Dad's boat in here right now, and that's the reason I got a... Sorry for the shaking. It's a little cold here. That's the reason I've got to uh, get a little money right now. Um, anyway, I'll try to get some good shots of the whole boat. Um, it's in good shape. The... Uh, the trailer's got a little bit of chips, if I can get. But it's in good shape. Spare tire. On the front of these wheel wells, there's some chipping as well. But the sides of the wheel wells look great. A little bit of cracking in part of this. On the top, the gel coat looks great. But there are uh, little marks from, you know, from the dock or what have you. One there, one there. A lot of it looks really great. Cowl looks good. Not any problems with it besides just in a couple corners the stickers are peeling. No issues with the prop at all. It's a stainless prop, pretty nice prop. Obviously the skeg's got a little bit of sandblast on it like they all do. I put these ratchet straps on when I bought it. The old ones are getting kind of shot. Yeah, the gel coat, especially on the top, I think looks really good. A couple small spots. Carpet's in good shape. It's kind of uh, dusty from just sitting here. Uh, this is kind of cool over the tackle storage. Uh, hopefully it's obvious that my fishing stuff doesn't go with it, um, but I will send with um, my, I've got some nice bumpers with ropes. They fit over the side of a bass boat actually pretty well. I'll send those with, um, I believe in this compartment I've got. Some spare fuses, uh, and then this is a socket that's the right size for the uh, prop. If you ever have uh, something tangled on the prop, you want to take a prop off. This is a socket I threw in that's the right size for the lug nuts for the trailer in case you ever need to change a uh, tire. It's got lights in there for the front and back, fire extinguishers good. Trying to think of what else I'm going to send with you. I actually brought, uh, I can show you. In this tote is the, the cover for it. There's a red cover for the whole boat. And then a cover that goes just over the top of the uh, outboard. And then I've got two other, th there's three other things in here. In that box is a new fiberglass end for the power pole. And then those aluminum pieces are replacements for the transom saver if something was ever to happen to it. I've got it. The aluminum replaces that piece there. I've got it off right now because I actually just changed the um, lower unit oil, which kind of reminds me uh, I'll send some. A uh, little bit left in there, a little bit left in these. It uses slightly less than a quart for a uh, lower unit oil change. I'll send the pump with you. Really easy to do that. That fiberglass pole just replaces this end piece if you ever end up breaking it off or whatever. I've never done it, but. The rest of the gel coat looks really good. I mean, it's it's a just about 20 year old boat, so it's got its little marks.
Oh, what I got hung up in there. Little cracks on this one. And some chipping from the road. But the gel coat on the top over here looks great. Little mark here. That might actually even buff out. It's hardly in the right light. It's not very noticeable. I opened the hangar today so you could get some sunlight on it. Trolling motor works great. I actually just put this prop on here. Um, and I have another shear pin, I think, in that, that box there. I'll send with it. That is the thing I did mention. The, um, the winch kind of uh, clicks at the end like, like it's got a bad tooth. I would actually probably just expect that you need a different winch. The tongue jack works great. No problems with that. Front of the boat, it's got that keel saver thing, that strip along the front. I'm not sure if it can be re-adhered here. I've never worried about it, I guess. It's kind of nice if you're ever just pulling it up on the beach. Underneath, it's not in horrible shape, but there's uh, some little marks. A little bit of the um, paint has worn from the roller there. Little marks on the front there. A lot of this discoloration on the bottom is just from sitting by the dock. We go to a place on Leech Lake for a week every year, and it sits in a um, an actual uh, enclosed dock area where it just floats at the dock. Wheels are in good shape. Tires are okay. I've got no worries about driving them cross country. Seats are in good shape. Uh, only some minor little little spot there and then kind of where it maybe is starting to pull apart I don't know if a guy brought it somewhere if they could run a couple stitches there everything else is in really good shape um, front seat folds down I wasn't sure if he knew that if I could reach it uh, it would fold down to a seat Live well is obviously a used live well. It's got a little bit of water spots in there. Those stainless grates, actually, those screw out. Kind of nice if you get a lot of crawfish guts and whatever in there. Uh, you can clean them off. Uh, one odd thing, I don't know why this is. This LED doesn't work. Um, this is for the it's battery one, battery two, and then cranking battery. The green just means that it's charged. And the... If there's red LEDs, that means it's charging. So this one works with red LEDs, but then once it's fully charged, it uh, won't show that it's green. But I've tested it with my voltmeter, and it's good. Batteries are only a couple years old, I believe. I think it says on the side. Oil tanks over there. I keep it plugged in all the time, so they're always topped off, because I think it's just best to keep a battery fully charged. Got an on and off for the power pole uh, here. I always keep it off if I'm not using it. I'm trying to think of what else I can show you. The carpet, I mean, is in good shape. These are just little fuzzes that float in when I've got the hanger open. Kind of cool logos on it. I've got uh, both pedestal seats. The other one's sitting over there. I don't fish with one in the front often, but I do have them. Um, what else was I thinking of? I can't think of anything else to show you in particular. It's just generally in good shape. One thing I should mention is, of the gauges, uh, fuel works, uh, voltmeter works. You can change over here. It's got like push button start, um, and you know controls for the bilge. If you hit this fuel one, it will switch this between uh, starboard and port tanks, and there is a. Uh, you know, port starboard off for the fuel. Kind of nice to be able to check both levels. The clock, uh, since I always have power off on the boat, unless I'm using it, is never right, but it does work. Um, trying to think of what else. The trim does work. And then this gauge actually shows what level the jack plate is at, because it's got the hydraulic jack plate. 
These I'll, I'll send with too. This is just for trailering. It keeps the motor from uh, knocking back and forth. It just keeps it straight. Over on that shelf there, I've got some of this oil that goes in here. This is where the steering oil will go. Um, but what I was going to mention is the water gauge and the miles per hour do not work. And that's because they had this installed. And this will show water pressure and PSI digitally. Uh, you can show RPMs on there, voltage, uh, uh, engine hours, fuel burned. It's, there's all kinds of stuff in there. Uh, engine temperature, that's kind of nice. I like to let this warm up fully before uh, I give it the onion. But in order to get this, they had to use the inputs for those. But the RPMs does work. Steering wheel is pretty sharp. I mean, nothing to note with the carpet. It's got the hot foot throttle. Kind of sweet. <laughs> the um, plexiglass for the wind uh, windshields is, I mean, it's 20 years old, so it is a little bit, I don't know what you'd call it, uh, glazed maybe? It's got that look to it. Uh, nothing that's ever really bothered me. That's the boat. Um, I'll probably be at the hangar for a little while here. I'll send this video to you, and then if there's anything specifically you'd like to uh, take a peek at, just let me know. Oil bath hubs, kind of nice. Yeah, that is it.